Thomas Fuchs is one of the best JavaScript developers in the world, in my opinion. He wrote Scriptaculous, which was a, um, uh, an animation framework for Prototype many years ago, and then eventually wrote Zepto.js, but his, his JavaScript skills are top-notch. And if you look at it, it was true. In 1997, hey, you wanted to create a website, you had HTML and Spark the VI, and guess what? You build a website, it's beautiful. And in 2007, no problem. You want to do a little bit more functionality, add jQuery into the mix. Well, 2017 seems a little bit different. <laughs> yeah. So you want to start up a, a library? There you go. I mean, or a frame, uh, website? You got it. Then you factor in something like Node and NPM, NPM alone, which has something like half a million um, packages, and you start to you start to, bless you, you start to understand why developers are frustrated, why developers are concerned. You understand their discontent with how things are evolving, because it's a radical change to have to go from a very simplistic process to scaffold up a website to now bundling in all these things and learning the APIs that go with all these different frameworks and tools to make things happen. You couple that with the learning curve that we all have when we're learning something. If you really think about it, when we learn a new library, we have this great up ramp time where we're feeling like, man, we are the kings of the world. And then all of a sudden you start, boom, you go down because you realize, oh crap, this is much more complicated than I thought. And it takes time, anywhere from weeks to months, to become really proficient on a tool. And if you multiply that times five or ten different tools, you can understand why people are getting concerned. Totally makes sense. But it's not a bad thing. Remember, we are trying to build feature-rich applications. We are trying to leverage the web platform to build these great experiences. And in order for us to do that, we have to evolve. We have to innovate. There's nothing wrong with more tools if those tools actually solve a real-world problem. And that's what we're all trying to do. Everybody in this audience is here to solve real-world problems. And we want to take it to the next level, whether it's app-like experiences or connecting to a third-party uh, third uh, service. All these things are meant to make the user experience for your sites that much better.